Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Dani Abara. I'm a yoga therapist and this is Tom. And we are here to guide you through part two of our three-part series for lower back pain. In the first part, we focused a lot on how to lengthen the lower back muscles through specific yoga postures. In today's sequence, we're gonna focus on strengthening the low back muscles as well as strengthening the core muscles. The muscles that we're focusing on um, in this series are the same as the first series. It's a, a, a group of three muscles. The quadratus lumborum muscle, which is the lower back muscles that come from the bottom rib all the way to the top of the pelvis. And then we have these long vertical muscles that run down the length of each side of the spine, the multifidus, and then the erector spinae muscles. We're gonna be massaging out the lower back muscles as well as these long vertical muscles along the spine. And then we'll be doing some postures that help to strengthen these muscles. So Tom is gonna to start by showing us, by showing you how to incorporate the pure wave into the practice. So he's gonna start massaging out the lower back muscles. And you can turn that uh, dial as high or as low as you like, depending on the vibration that you prefer. So moving up and down, circling it around, just trying, trying, really trying to get the blood flowing and moving around those muscles to create more flexibility. When there's an increase of blood flow to muscle, the muscle can start to heal. And that's what we're doing through the massage. So begin to link your movement to your breath as you're massaging. The yoga can be very down regulating for your nervous system and so can the massage. So you may find that at the end of this practice you feel really relaxed, really at ease, and your body feels more settled. How's that feel, Tom? Awesome. Awesome, good. Go ahead and move to now those vertical muscles so if you take it up and over your shoulder, it might be a little easier to access the upper back. So right along this inner rim of the shoulder blade, we tend to have a lot of knotted up tissue. So it's nice to get in there and break up some of those knots and tension. And we hold a lot of not only a lot of stress in our body, but we hold energetically, we hold a lot in our muscles as well. We'll go ahead and do the other side and take a few cycles of breath. So these muscles that he's massaging right now tend to get overstretched due to poor posture. So if you're forward head position and you're on your computer and your shoulders are rounding forward, these muscles are being overstretched to compensate for the movement of the spine being out of alignment. So not only do they get overstretched, but they also get really tight from working way harder than they have to. So hopefully as you move through the yoga practice and Hopefully you stay with the yoga practice. You begin to get more mindful on how you hold your body. Take in one more breath, Tom. Great job. And then I'll take that from you. Thank you. All right, so please make your way onto your back. And first I want you to just take a moment to settle. If it feels more comfortable, you know, this is a lower back series, so bending your knees like this position, what it does is it releases the psoas muscle, which takes the pressure off of the lower back. So I highly recommend staying here if you are suffering from a lot of back pain today. The other option would be to straighten the legs. So do what's right for you. Take a moment, close the eyes, and just notice how you feel. Notice if your lower, middle, upper back feel warm or tingly or cool. Take 
a long deep breath in through your nose, filling up, expanding all the way to the top of the chest. And then exhale all the breath out. Do that again. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, let it go. One more breath. Letting go of the day you've had, letting go of the week you've had. And choosing to drop into this present moment, acknowledging how your body is feeling right now. Setting the intention for this practice to create openness and freedom, as well as strengthening these muscles so that our body feels more steady and we can move through our day with more ease. When you're ready, bend your knees and bring the knees in towards your chest. So keeping the hands on top of each knee, just like Tom is doing, on your inhale, move your knees straight away from your body until your elbows straighten. So you're gonna keep holding onto your knees and as you exhale, bring the legs in towards your chest and bend the elbows. And again, inhale. Notice that when you inhale, your belly expands. And notice on the exhale, when your legs come in, the lower back moves down. You wanna create that movement, that expansion through the core on the inhalation. And then the contraction of the core on the exhalation. Do that a couple more times. This is really soothing, really relaxing for lower back pain. You're just gently starting to not only move into the muscles of the hips, but you're also starting to move into this quadratus lumborum or QL muscle, as you might have heard it been called. So do one more, Tom. Hug the knees deeply in towards your chest. Good. And then just pause here for a few breath cycles. Keeping the legs all the way together now, start to make small circles around with your knees. So as you circle the knees, you're starting to move and disperse the weight around the back of the sacrum and the pelvis. Feel free to pause wherever it feels really good in your body and breathe into those areas. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead the opposite direction a few more times. Linking the movement to the breath. And one more. And squeezing the knees all the way back in. Pausing here. And place the feet down onto the floor. All right. So you're gonna move into a gentle twist. So for this twist, we're gonna incorporate Actually, we're gonna incorporate the mini roller into this, into this twist. And if you don't have the mini roll, then feel free to use your pure wave massager. Hug the knees in towards your chest. And then as you exhale, drop them over to the left side of your mat. Good. First, give your body and your spine a moment to settle here into the twist. Twists are extremely healing for your back. They help to reduce tension and stiffness in the low spine, mid spine, and in the neck. It can be extremely calming as well as energizing. All right, Tom, you wanna to try the mini roller? So you can roll the outer hips and the buttock gluteal muscles as well as the lower back muscles. Kind of moving around, noticing where those, we call them body blind spots. So the areas behind the body that we're unaware of that are painful until we start massaging. So we wanna look for those tender spots and then roll into them. And just do that a few more times. Deep breath in. Long exhalation out. Give yourself one more breath here. Good. Now you 
probably don't want me to take that away. <laughs> I'll hold that for you while you come into the second side. So bring the knees back to center. And then when you're ready, exhale them over to the other side. You always want to twist on exhalation because that's way healthier for your spine. And especially if we're doing a lower back series, you want to do things that are going to protect the lower back because there's probably some injury or pain there. So moving slowly, mindfully is always key. Okay. So Tom's getting his outer hip muscles right now. These are the muscles that turn your leg in. They tend to be quite tender. But benef great benefits to rolling the outer hip because it will send blood flow down the outside of the thigh, which is really tight. And if you don't believe me, just roll that massager down there and feel that tightness. It's called your IT band. Now moving into the gluteal muscles. And getting up into the lower back muscles, giving those just a couple rolls there. Do you like that in the twist, Tom? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it makes the yoga so much better, right? When you add massage to it yoga. Sure does. <laughs> Good. All right, I'll take that from you. Great. And then go ahead and make your way onto your back. We'll just recheck. Legs straight or bent. Again, you decide what feels best in your body. And I want you to just now notice the difference in your hips. Notice a different sensation. So we've woken up these muscles with the massage. Great. And then bend your legs once again. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And make your way onto your right side. This is how I recommend coming up, rolling to your side, especially if you've got back issues. Now Tom's gonna use his left hand and right elbow and press himself up off the floor. I highly recommend coming up that way as opposed to sitting straight up, especially if you have back issues. It's not a good idea. All right, so we're gonna come into some strengthening back bends now. So the first pose we're gonna take is Sphinx pose. So you'll turn yourself around, come onto your belly. Yeah, we'll move the blanket off to the side. So this is gonna be a little back bend series. Back bends are extremely healing for your body, but they must be done um, carefully and correctly. So first I'm gonna ask you to lift one leg up and reach it as long as you can and set the leg down. Good, now do that to the other leg. You'll notice the front of your thighs and hips got a little bit longer. Now the tailbone is going to move towards your heels and the low belly will automatically rise up. We want the core to lift in this back bend so we're not back bending into the lower back. This part of the spine is the upper thoracic. That's the part that we're trying to move in. So all of your back bending work comes from here, not here and not here. Not the lower back or the neck. All right, Tom, so keep the lower belly lifting up. Now energetically try to drag your forearms, they're not gonna move, but you're gonna drag your heart forward as the arms pull back. Energetically drag your hips forward. So this is considered a traction back bend. I want you to visualize your spine literally pulling apart. Restoring blood flow to the discs creating a sense of traction so that anything, in, especially in the lumbar spine, when there is compression, we feel it, we're in pain. So what we're trying to do is elongate and pull the spine apart to decompress whatever areas are jammed or locked up. Taking one more breath here, nothing should hurt you. So if you feel a pinching in your lower back, I want you to pull your heart forward more and reach your legs back more. There should be no discomfort here. Okay, elbows come out to the side and lower yourself down. Rest on your hands. Breathing into these lower back muscles here. Exhale all the breath out slowly. And when you're ready, bend your elbows, 
tuck your toes, and nice and slowly push yourself up and into a child's pose. So knees are gonna come apart a little bit, big toes come together. We're just lengthening out what we just strengthened. I do not recommend this pose if you have injuries to your knees. What you can do is just turn around onto your back and hug your knees to your chest. It's the same pose without the weight bearing on the knees. So take in one more cycle of breath here, finding something new on your exhalation. Great, we're gonna go into our second strengthening back bend. When you're ready, come on up to your hands and knees, and then make your way down onto your belly once again. So we're now moving into a, a pose called Cobra Pose. So come on all the way down, Tom, on your chest and slide your hands next to the rib cage. Do that thing with your leg again. So lift one leg, reach it long, set it down. Good. Now the feet stay on the floor. I want you to reach vigorously through your legs and toes and keep pressing the tops of your feet down. Good, start to roll the shoulders up away from the floor. So actually you're lifting them and then widening through the chest. Now as you reach through your legs, inhale, lift your head and your chest up. You're not lifting any higher than this, so your bottom ribs stay connected to your mat. I want you to think long and low with this cobra. Again, the, the intention is to lengthen. Breathe here. As you inhale, your chest reaches forward. As you exhale, your toes stretch back. Go ahead and lower down, and we're gonna move this into uh, matching the movement to the breath. So inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower down slow. Keep reaching through your toes. Inhale, rise up. You're not lifting your chin or leading with your chin. Keep the chin level. Exhale, lower down. Very nice. Do that two more times on your own breath pace. No pinching or stabbing in your lower back. That's just an indication that you're working too hard and too high. So take it low and long. Good work. Lower all the way down. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your head and breathe into your lower back. This is kind of fun. Bend your knees. Press your tailbone down. And you're going to cross and open the shins. This is my idea of fun. <laughs> cross and open, cross and open. You can go a little quicker. This helps to release the back. And you're actually rolling your inner, your hips internally and externally. Isn't that fun? Yes. <laughs> Good. Release the toes down to the floor. And once again, child's pose. When you're ready, press up and reach back. Good job, Tom. Breathe. All right, we have our last strengthening back bend. Come on up, Tom. I'm going to have you place a blanket for this one. It's kind of nice to pad the frontal hip bones. So you're going to open up a blanket, place it in the center of your mat, make sure it's all smoothed out. Good. And then come on down. You want the top of the blanket to be right up by your navel. And then you're gonna set up just like you did for Cobra. So the hands are gonna move next to your ribs. Good. So you always wanna set the back bend up. Reach back through your legs. Just get into that habit of finding the length. Your tailbone's gonna move down. Now inhale, come back up to that Cobra pose you were just in a moment ago. Long and low. Reach vigorously through your legs and then hover your thighs up off the floor. So this might be enough for you. You might just want to stay here and work on lengthening. If you want to take it one step further, open your thighs apart. Good. And then slowly close them back in. Inhale, open. 
Exhale, close. This pose is so beneficial. Keep going, Tom, on your own breath. What you're doing here is strengthening these QL muscles, the lower back muscles. You're opening and closing the hips. You're firming and toning the outer hips in case that's important to you. And you're also helping to reset the sacrum and helping with sciatica issues. So this is one of my favorite back bends. Good job, do one more. Exhale, bring it in slow and lower down. Make a pillow with your hands and breathe into your lower back. And when you're ready, tuck the toes, bend your arms, come back into child's pose. So we're countering the work of the back bend with this forward fold. Taking the spine in the opposite direction, creating length and space and evenness. Breathing in and out. Let's walk the hands over to the right side of your mat. We'll add a little lateral bend here. Lateral bends are great. They get right into this QL muscle at the lower back. So I want you to roll your left rib cage down a little bit and breathe into the left side body. And breathe to expand. You can really feel all those intercostal muscles along the side of your rib cage, widening. Good, walk your hands back to center and over to the opposite side. And again, breathing into the right waist, the right ribs, and the lower right back. Good. Taking one more deep breath, find something new on the exhalation. And then walk your hands back around to center. And when you're ready, slowly make your way up to hands and knees. Well done. Let's move that blanket off to the side. And then come onto your back. Your choice if you want to add that blanket underneath your head or not. Do what feels comfortable. All right. So to complete this sequence, we're going to end with a little bit of transverse abdominus work. Your transverse abdominal muscles are like corset muscles. They are your deepest layer of abdominal muscles. These muscles help to support your lower back. So we're gonna do some movements here that you will find um, maybe a little bit challenging because you'll see what I mean in a minute. So lift your legs up. It's like you're coming into a chair position with your legs. Now the knees are stacked over the hips. You're probably already feeling your transverse abdominus just in this position alone. What I want you to focus on, focus on is not arching your back here because that's just going to strain your back and we're here to heal your back. So engage the lower belly. Okay. And then just hold there. See if you can bring some softness into your mouth and your eyes and your neck. And then release the feet down. Take a little bridge pose in between, just to lengthen out the front of your hips. Good, driving into your heels. Great, and then lower down one bone at a time. And then do that again. Pick up your knees and feet. Oh, not bridge, we're gonna come into, yeah. Knees and feet, there we go, into the chair position. Okay, engage your core. But you are more than welcome to just work here. You might be feeling plenty in this position, or you can make it a little bit harder. I'm gonna take one arm at a time and it's gonna come all the way up over your head. Before you do that, I want you to close off the front rib cage. The ribs are gonna to wanna to puff up, close them off. Now, very slowly, lift your right arm all the way up, stretch it towards the wall behind you. Keep the core engaged, keep the ribs closed off. Exhale, lower the arm by your side. Great, other arm, inhale, left arm rising, 
rises up, reach it back. Exhale, lower the arm down. One more on each arm, inhaling. Exhale. Try to keep the knees right over the hips. They're gonna to wanna to come closer to make it easier. You're doing it. Lift your left arm up and over. Close off the ribs, engage the core. Exhale, lower down, slow. Great job, place the feet to the mat. Breathe, nice big belly breath. Exhale it out. Lift your hips up, come into a bridge pose. Just opening and lengthening the front line of the leg and hip. Pretend you're squeezing a little beach ball with your knees so the knees are not splaying apart. Good, one more breath here. Very good, exhale, lower all the way down. Good. Breathe. And we'll come into a twist. Hug the right knee in towards your chest. Stretch the left leg out onto the mat. Pause here. Good. And then take your knee over to the left side. Breathing into your lower back here. Exhale, the heart towards your right shoulder. Inhale into the low back. Exhale, heart to the right shoulder. One more breath. The bottom of the exhalation, engage the low belly. Bring the legs back around to center. And extend that leg onto the floor. Good. When you're ready, left leg comes in. Pause for a moment. So there's never any rush. We're not trying to get anywhere. You're already there. When you're ready, exhale the knee over to the right side. Just find where it feels stiff. Breathe into that area. And use the exhalation to relax it completely. One more breath. Finding something new on the exhalation. the core, bring your legs back to center. Hug both knees in one last time. That's to bring some neutrality to the spine. And then exhale, release the legs to the floor. You can keep the knees bent, the legs straight. Feel free to add a rolled up blanket underneath the knees if that works better for you. Turn up. And just notice the quality of your mind. Notice the quality of your breath. And notice how the physical body feels more settled, more at ease. to wiggle your fingers and toes. You're more than welcome to stay here a little longer at home. 
When ready, you'll bring the arms all the way up over your head, reaching your body back. And then lower the arms, hug your knees in towards your chest. Rolling onto your right hand side, just pausing on your side for a moment. Let your heart rest. And using your left hand and your right elbow, press yourself all the way up. And make your way to a seated position. Place the palms together at your heart. Lift the spine. Spread the collarbones wide, close the eyes. So thanking yourself for taking this time to strengthen your body. When our body feels steady, where we have the ability to move through our day from an easier place. When we're centered, our words come out clearer, our energy, is more positive and we feel steady. So may you move into your day holding on to this space, energy, and steadiness and sharing it with others. Bow your chin down towards your heart. May you be happy, may you be free, may you live in joy, and may you know peace. Namaste. Namaste.